Some breaking news tonight. Ohio State's offensive coordinator Brian Hartline in the hospital after an early morning ATV crash. The Delaware County Sheriff confirms that Hartline was the one driving. Stephanie Dupre live outside Riverside Hospital right now telling us what we know about this crash. Steph. Tom, the sheriff's office also confirmed that the crash happened on Heartline's property. Uh, I was told by the hospital tonight, I reached out uh, again to them. They told me he's still a patient here and he's expected to be okay. The sheriff's office says deputies were called to Heartline's home because his ATV flipped over. I learned that Heartline, along with another man, were riding around the property early Sunday morning, and Heartline was the one driving. Both men were taken to Riverside Hospital. Now, OSU's athletic department says the friend he was with was not affiliated with the university. I reached back out to the hospital and the sheriff's department with some questions, some of them being, was he in surgery? Did they do a blood alcohol test? The hospital could not release any more information other than Heartline is a patient. Heartline took to social media Sunday afternoon, hours after the crash, to let his followers know he's doing okay. He took to Twitter saying, quote, I appreciate everyone's support. I crashed my side by side on my property and have been taken to the hospital for further evaluation. I am doing well. Now, I asked the department for a copy of the incident report, but I was told tonight that it is not finished yet and should be available by tomorrow morning. Live on your side tonight, I'm Stephanie Dupre, Fox 28 News. All right, Stephanie, thank you. Right now, let's bring in our sports director, Clay Hall, who has been following this all day as well, digging deeper into Heartline's time here at Ohio State. Clay, what do you know? Yeah, 36 year old Brian Heartline has been on a steady and perhaps meteoric climb, and he's done it on the field and off. That's for sure. As you take a look at uh, his career, the Canton native number nine played for the Bucks from 05 to 08 and was part of four Big Ten title teams under Jim Trussell. He played an important role in getting Ohio State to back to back national championship games and was a 1500 yard receiver here. He was a fourth round pick of the Dolphins in 09. He played six seasons in the National Football League, including one with his home state Cleveland Browns. He then launched a coaching career at his alma mater in 2017 after first turning down an offer from Urban Meyer. Brian Hartline has an edge to him editorial comment that serves him very well as a coach. His receiver room is likely to be the best in the country and he made Garrett Wilson and Chris Olave first round picks last season. Wilson was the rookie of the year. He has gone from quality control assistant to receivers coach to passing game coordinator and most recently offensive coordinator. The exact mechanics of his play calling are a work in progress between he and head coach Ryan Day. On your side, I'm Clay Hall for the football fever. Thank you, Clay. We're